Oh hey, Zephyr's here. Welcome. So, people told me, hey, I think Zephyr was actually one of them, or if, if not the only one. So told me, hey, why don't you play Doki Doki Literature Club? It's a free visual novel that's very, very happy, and it's popular on Twitch. He may have not said that last part. Anyway, uh, this is the first screen of the game, and I felt, you know what? If they're pointing this out, maybe it's worth reading it. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. And I actually restarted it once I saw this one. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit that address. But playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you agree that you are at least 13 years of age, and you could set to your exposure of highly disturbing content. I can't not agree. So, where's my decline button that closes the game? Come on. Oh, but look, look it's happy now. It's fine. Team Salvaldo. Salvado? Salva oh man, that's super happy. That is fucking loud. Ah, oh, there we go. Let me just check something. There we- yeah, that, that's fine. I don't think the music's super important. I'll just- yeah. It's an auto-forward text speed. Uh, it's- you guys can't even tell, but this isn't a, a windowed. Yeah, they really want to make sure kids aren't playing this. What does return do? It just brings- yeah, okay. Oh, why is that happening? Is it because Flux is on? Oh god, it's more pink than I thought. That's weird. Why is that happening? Huh, uh, I guess I just shouldn't do that. Anyway, <laughs> it's already terrifying. Uh, snake. Hey, says question mark. So I'm gonna tr I'm gonna I've never done a visual novel for a let's play. I just want to point that out. I'm gonna try my hardest to read everything. I'm not gonna be a great voice actor. And I'm Oh, do I need to use my real name? Fuck that, I'm using Snake. That's what's happening. Uh, cause I, I go by the name Snake. Like, if, if you called Snake across the room, I would look up. So it's just as good for me. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna try. If, if I get, start to get tired, I'm probably just gonna stop and we'll restart fresh another time. But anyway, I suppose this is us. I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. Can I hit spacebar? I can. I can. I get to be lazy. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Of course she is. Why wouldn't she be? You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today, but it just kind of works out because we've known each other for so long? That's an odd question. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up because I'm an ass. But if she was going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Uh, well. However, I just sigh and idle in the front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. And that's Sayori. And she's out of breath. She overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, I say. I wonder how I'm going to say that. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Sayori says, "Eh," in that very Japanese way. You say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Snake. <laughs> I should have named myself Bro. This would have been a much, much chiller visual novel. Snake says, I say, I'm going to say I say, it's easier. Well, the people stare at you for acting weird that I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine, says Sayori. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have to have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Or do I? I don't know how... Yeah, I don't know anything. Whatever you say, Sayori. 
She laughs evilly. We cross the street together and make our way to school. This is just really so weird Metal Gear fan fiction. Metal Gear and I walked across the street and towards school. As we draw near, the streets become, uh, become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. Sayori says, by the way, Snake, <laughs> Metal Gear, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club, I ask. I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining club, joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. I'm lazy. Sayori says, eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about, because I'm a bad friend and an asshole. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me, when I'm perfectly content just getting by on average while spending my free time on games and anime. I mean, I can't fault him there. Aha, uh -huh, says Sayori. I was talking about how I'm worried you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Ending up like your father. I mean, your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. They're not going to tell me what neat is. No education. I know what dink is double income, no kids. Kind of related. Anyway, you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right, I say. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. I hope I get... As a side note, I hope I actually get to choose clubs. I hope I get to choose a uh, something with, like, literature. I think that'll be a good pick. No promises, though. We, Sayori asks, will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. And she's happy. Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? Because I'm a pushover. More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Not in education, employment, or... Tra oh, that sucks. That's a bad place to be. Yeah. Uh, the school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, <laughs> looking for an ounce of motivation. I'm... Mm. Maybe he's just... Maybe he's being thoughtful. Clubs. Sorry wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Well, I like anime and games, apparently. Sayori says, hello. Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that the on I'm the only one left in the classroom. Holy shit. Sayori asks, or says, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to meet, wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your own club. So he says, well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought... Oh, she says thought a lot, you know. No what, I ask? Well, that you could come to my club. Sayori. Yeah? There's no way I'm going to your club. She thinks we're a meanie. Sawyer is vice president of the Literature Club. Not that I was ever aware of that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since he was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title vice president. Hey, that's how you get started in life. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. I mean, let's be honest. Anime is... Wait, is my kid is am I only interested in anime or am I also interested in manga? Because manga could be a subset of literature, and that could be a way to get me into this. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. I say. So he says, "Come on, please." Wait, wait. Can I go backwards? History. Yeah. Okay. So he says, "Come on, please." I say, "Why do you care so much anyway?" Well, I kind of told the club yesterday would bring in a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Free food. Don't make promises you can't keep. Can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out. 
including the cupcakes. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for a cupcake. Oh, yeah, I knew it! Sorry says, yay! Yes, let's go. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Hey. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school's across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. I don't think it's mentioned what year we are. We're I guess we're beneath third year. Sayori, full of energy, swings on op the open classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. I say, I told you, don't call me a new member. I glance around the room. Girl number one, with long purple hair. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Girl number two, who I mistook for Sayori for a second. Seriously, you brought a boy. How dare men join our Literature Club? I mean, way to kill the atmosphere. Which is actually the same thing. Girl three, ah, Snake, <laughs> what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. I'm glad there's only four characters. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. Harem time, I mean... What are you looking at, asks girl two. If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, I stutter. Natsuki, says girl one. Oh, girl two is now Natsuki. And she has a sour attitude. And, yep, she's Natsuki. Is the only one I don't recognize. A small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Oh, that's true. So she's a mean baker. Okay. That's why I confused them a little bit. They technically both have red, rib red ribbons in their hair. And they both have short hair. I know that's a weird thing, because they actually look wildly different. But anyway. Uh, you can just ignore Natsuki when she gets moody. Sayori says that gently... Uh, sorry. Not gently, Jesus. Not yet. Uh, quietly into my ear, and then turns backwards toward the other girls. Back towards. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy and anger. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. I'm assuming that's the purple chick. Yep. And she's shy about it. Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. I say, ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? She actually has a name I can pronounce perfectly. Hopefully. That's right, says Monica. It's great to see you again, Snake. Monica smiles sweetly. She's evil. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my league. Am I... I mean, if I'm only interested in anime and games... Do... Ah, it's it's. I wanna. Ref I know we'll never get a reflection of us, but I would love to see what we look like. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. I stutter. Come sit down, Snake. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Natsuki says, "Hey, I made them. I'll get them." Sorry, says Sayori. I get a little too excited because they're cupcakes, and Yuri wants to make some tea. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened so there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over the corner of the room where Natsuki grab, grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat. Damn it! No choices. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Oh, hey, Robo. Welcome, welcome to our anime... I'm sorry, visual novel club here. Literally a visual novel book club. Yeah, I'll... <laughs> I will have to assume I'm the generic black-haired kind of thin anime boy I've always dreamed of being that has absolutely no facial hair. Uh, yeah, short black hair. Dull expression. Very unmemorable. Anyway, Natsuki proudly marches back to the table. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! And everyone's impressed because it's a tray of a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. How adorable. 
The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were made used to make the ears. So cute, says Sayori. Monica adds, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Well, you know, you haven't tried it yet. You'll vomit when you do. I mean, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs the first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious, says Sayori. Sayori talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good, I say. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Baka, why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before in all my animes? Made them for you or anything. I thought you technically did, Sayori said. Well, maybe, says N Natsuki. But not for you, you know. Baka. All right, all right. I give up on Atsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. That, uh, I'm wondering why my character thought he heard that before, but I'm, I'm just going to chalk it up to anime. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole set, a whole tea set in the classroom, I ask. Don't worry, says Yuri. The teachers gave us permission. <laughs> uh, hey, if there's one thing I learned about the anime and certain anime women tropes, it's the Natsuki Seibaka. That's what I know. And I think there's something more as well. Uh... Yuri says, after all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I... I guess. Monica laughs and says, don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. That's not it. Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know, she says. I believe you, I, I say. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I, I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider the Literature Club? I didn't want to. I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed, to really, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... Monica says, that's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, I'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As pre president of the Literature Club... Oh, she, she's the president. Okay. President of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? That's actually pretty impressive. Well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. That's true. There's some dumb bullshit. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And then the politics will follow. And if it encourages other people to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader, says Sayori. Yuri also nods in agreement. I say that I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. Monica says, you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature, because books are boring. Especially to high schoolers. Mana con continues, you have to work hard to convince people you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. What would the book club do for a festival? Hmm. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Sayori says, yeah. Yuri says, we'll do our best. Natsuki says, you know it. Oh god, does she have a fang? Fuck. She has a trope right there. I didn't even see it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested, interested in the same goal. Uh, Robo. I'm only confused about one thing in this game. What's all this talk I hear about reading books? Bunch of nerds. 
<laughs> oh, Robo. Can't you understand? Uh, you know what? I hope... Uh, let's get in... Let's find a book. Let, I want a book that is in real life that this game says, Hey, here's some passages from this book. This is a good book. Let's read it together. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were also delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. Yuri. So, Snake, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Oh, I do like manga! I mutter manga quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Yuri. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. That manga. That's sin. Those are sinful books. Uh, well, that can change, I say. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Oh, hey, Abyssal! She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, she adds, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? That's a self-reference thing, I think. I think that's a self-reference. Uh, anyway... I've been reading a lot of horror... Oh, no, the self-reference. Lately. Ah, I read a... I read a horror book once, I say. I desperately grasp something that I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might, might as well have been having a conversation with a rock. Really, says Monica. I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. With someone as gentle as you, Yuri says, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Yuri continues, Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Natsuki adds, Ugh, oh, I hate horror. Yuri says, Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. Monica says, That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> she says, What? What gives you that idea? Monica continues, You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. It looked like you were working on a poem called... <laughs> Natsuki interrupts, Don't say it out loud. And give that back. Fine, fine, says Monica. Oh yes, yeah, Sayori exists. Your cupcakes, your poems, everything you do is just as cute as you are. Sayori saddles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute, Natsuki says. Snake says, ah, damn it, I say, Natsuki, write, you write your own poems? Eh? Well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I say, I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, she says. She averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. No one likes them. I say, well, not a very confident writer yet. Yuri says, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Monica adds, or says, do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable, comfortable enough to share hers. Yuri says nothing. I say, I guess it's t the same for Yuri. Sayuri says, ah, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment because that conversation was going nowhere. Okay, says Monica. I have an idea, everyone. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with what each other. That way, everyone is even. Natsuki says, um, Yuri says nothing. 
So he says, yeah, let's do it. Fucking rock out with poems. Monica continues, plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Snake? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Say, hold on, there's still one problem. Oh, what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth what's with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sorry you may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and... Oh, but now all the girls are sad and... Well, let's see, we have sad, kind of a blank face, sad, and then kind of pissy. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But, says Monica. I'm sorry, says Yuri. Hmph, <laughs> says Natsuki. Snake, says Sayori. You all. I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day... Oh, God. <sighs> if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... Right, I finally say. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy, says Sayori. Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey... I say. Yuri says, you really did scare me for a moment. Natsuki adds, if you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. I didn't expect that language. Huh. Yeah, that's not me adding anything. She says, I would be super pissed. Monica says, then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Thanks, I guess, I say. Okay, everyone, says Monica. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Wow. We did nothing. Uh, everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Snake, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. And she laughs. Yeah, I say. Can I really impress a class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Oh boy, high school. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. This is basically the tea and cupcake club at this point. Sorry asks, Hey Snake, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well, I say. Yay, she says. I'm just going to read chat for a second. Abyssal, I don't think I can do what you need me to do there. I, I, I'm not even going to try to put voices. Since this is the first time I've... You've seen in most of the games I play, if there's a ton of text, I don't even read it. So this is me attempting to read as much as I can out loud. Oh yeah, I threw a Baka in there. I'm, I'm, I will potentially evolve as this goes on, so just give me, give me room to breathe. With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in, the lit in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have a chance to grow closer to one of these girls. As a side note, and to reiterate, I don't know anything about this. I don't know if this is a day. I know there's ba there's bad shit. The fucking first screen tells me that if I'm a kid, this is not for me. There something fucked up happens, and there are fucked up topics. But is this still a dating sim at heart? Ah, uh, I know there are multiple endings. I know you have to go through the game multiple times to get the multiple endings. Yeah, Zavin didn't tell me shit, and I've made uh, and a couple of my favorite streamers and let's players have done this. But I've stayed away, because I'm like, well, I'm, I, I want to do it myself. So, is this a dating sim? Eh, I don't know. We'll see. I'll just need to make sure... Uh, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. I do hope I get an option at some point. Oh, what's this? It's time to write a poem. Pick words you think your 